Chapter 6, Lesson 2, will be about reflections on the coordinate plane. A reflection, or a flip, as it might be easier to refer to it as, is an isometry in which a figure and its image have opposite orientations. Thus, a reflected image in a mirror appears backwards. Now, there's a few things going on in here that I would like to clarify. Um, specifically, this word isometry. It simply means that there is a equal distance between the image, the line it was reflected over, and the pre-image. We'll see more about what that means in a little bit. Just know that for our purposes, it's the same distance. Using the diagram below, a reflection in line R is a transformation for which the following are true. Now, let's hold on. We have what's called line of reflection. That means that is the line I'm going to be flipping everything over. The thing to point out is point A is on the line of reflection. If a point is on the line of reflection, then the image, the new picture for that point, is the exact spot the pre-image is in. In the terms of a point that is not on the line of reflection, point B, as I just marked in green, it's not on the line, so we reflect it over to B prime. And the thing I want you to notice is B and B prime are the same distance away from the line of reflection. That is where that isometry term comes in. That is what it means for them to be the same distance, that B and B prime are equidistant or the same distance from the line of reflection. Now we're gonna use that to build reflections. We're gonna do two different kinds, reflections over the X axis and reflections over the Y axis. We're gonna do this using a graph and the, a table and then use that to see if we can't come up with a rule or a shortcut. The goal is that you could be given a picture or a list of points and you could do the transformation without any struggle, either using the fact that they are the same distance or by using the rule. Let's take a look at how to build the rule to clarify some understanding. Okay. Let's start with this. This is going to be a reflection over the x-axis. And remember, the x-axis is this horizontal axis. I'm going to start by graphing the three points that are given. 3, 2 is located here. Negative 1, 3 is located here. And 1, 0 is located here. And I get this triangle. It's not going to be perfect. That's okay. I want to reflect this Im pre image over the x axis. And to do that, I'm actually going to count how far away each point is from the x-axis so that I can count that same distance again to find where the new point should be. 
Let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to grab the very first point that we graphed, 3, 2. I notice that it is two spaces away from the x-axis. So if I'm going to flip it over the x-axis, I need to go two more spaces and put a point here. Let's note its location. For our x, we are still at 3. But our y went from being up at positive 2 down to negative 2. Let's look at this again for the second point. I'm going to start by grabbing the point here and counting 1, 2, 3 spaces from the x-axis. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 more spaces place a point here and I'm going to record its location. It is at negative 1, negative 3. The last point here at 1, 0, we see that it is on the x-axis. And one way to think about it is its distance from the x-axis the line of reflection is zero, meaning I have to move it zero spaces to find its new location, meaning this point will not move. It stays at one, zero. And I can go ahead and connect the dots and I should find an image of a triangle very much like the original, only with a new orientation. It is facing a different direction. And it should look as if we put a mirror in front of the triangle to get the new image. Let's see what might be the rule. So looking at the ordered pairs, let's note what happens First with the x's. Did the x values change with this transformation? They did not. So we're going to say that from x, y, we do our transformation, x will stay the same for a reflection over the x-axis. Now let's look at the y values and see what we notice. For the y values, I went from 2 to negative 2, from 3 to negative 3, and 0 to 0. What we should definitely notice from the first two is that our y values are changing. Our y values are now actually opposites of each other. So what I'm going to note for the rule is that my y's change from y to the opposite of y. And notice how I said that. I said opposite of y. I know it says negative, but the thing we have to be careful of is what if our image started down in the negatives for the y's? Maybe we started with the purple image. The purple one, if I wanted to turn it into the red triangle, I would have to go from negative to positive, still going opposite. So I want to make sure we're careful with having that negative to denote that it is the opposite of y. That could mean going from positive to negative or from negative to positive. Let us go ahead and look at a reflection over the y-axis. Again, we're going to start with graphing the 
original points. So three, two, negative one, three, and one, zero. We have this triangle. But this time we're gonna reflect over the Y axis. To do that, I'm gonna do the same thing I did previously where I counted how far away each point was from that line of reflection. And then I would count those spaces again to make sure my point is equidistant from the line of reflection. Let's start with the three comma two. If I take the point and go one, two, three spaces towards the X, I'm sorry, Y axis, I'll need to go one, two, three more spaces to find its new location. I'm gonna also note that it's at negative three, two. Next, I'll take negative one, three. It is one space away from the axis. So I'm gonna go one more space, put a dot here at one, three. And now I'm gonna grab the last one, one comma zero. It's one space away from the axis. So I'm going to go one, more space, place a dot, and record that it's at negative one, zero. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my dots, and I should see a triangle similar to the one we had before, only flipped around in a different direction. It is okay that these images are overlapping each other. Some people are getting confused when any of the transformations overlap, but it is completely okay. Now let's see if we can figure out what the rule is. Like before, I'm gonna highlight my X's first. Let's focus on the X's. Well, if I look, I went from three to negative three, negative one, to one and one to negative one. That means for my X, it's gonna go from being X to the opposite of X. So opposite of X. Let's see if the Y's change. There is no change in our Y's, so we'll mark that Y does not change. So those are our rules. Let's put one more page with a summary of what we found. For a reflection, We are only going to do two in our class. We have over the X axis. And to do that, we have a transformation where we take the original ordered pair, we keep the X the same, but we find the opposite of Y. Our second transformation will be a reflection over the Y axis. And its rule is we take our X and our Y, we find the opposite of X and leave Y the same. 